in the in the following pr presentation I will analyze a chiaroscuro for p piano solo co composed in 1982 by, by Norwegian composer Ole Lutz of Holm. Uh, I, I would like to mention that uh, that he was my composition professor bit, between two, two, uh, 2004 till 2007 in, in, in Gothenburg University in, in, in Sweden. Uh, I have I have chosen to present his his piece Chiaroscuro because in in my uh, in my view it it represents a, a unique blend of highly formalized uh, strict and and multi layered compositional th uh, thinking with intuitive uh, decisions. It it creates mag magnificent variety and, and expressive uh, scope within the range of possibilities of a solo piano. Uh, this, this is a multi-dimensional uh, score par excellence, uh, containing interplay of, of multiple parametric strands and sig significantly also having two con con contrastive vectors of, of development. Uh, in, in, in May of uh, 2005 in Göteborg University I attended Ole Lutz of Holmes seminar uh, devoted to, to this piece. Uh, there he uh, gave an overview as, as well as commented on, on certain ideas in, in detail. Subsequently, I had the opportunity to, to study the composer's uh, sketches. Still uh, later, I gradually delved uh, deeper and deeper in, in the structure of uh, this piece, uh, myself analyzing uh, certain segments and, and creating analytical schemes, tables, etc. In the, in the following presentation, I, I will combine the information gained from, from the composer himself with my own analysis. Uh, in the individual representations, I, I, I will man, maintain the following cons consequence. Uh, all Lutz of Holmes uh, diagram schemes, etc. Are, are labeled as composer's uh, sketches whilst my own are, are labeled as Petrashkevich sketches. Uh, the co composer's uh, sketches as, as, as well as the score are used here with kind per, per, permission of the composer. In its full composed version, the piece uh, divides in, in 12 sections. According to composer, uh, it's composed in variation form, uh, 12 variations with no original. So in its full composed version, the piece lasts approximately 11 minutes. The composer has revealed that there is a specific poetic metaphor functioning as the impulse for the creation of this work. A stage in 12 gradations from lightly transparent, creating a sense of a breadth, to dark opaque, possibly creating a claustrophobic sensation. The structural foundation of the piece is a metamorphosis from the lightest stage to the darkest stage. However, conceptually, the key factor here is the avoidance of straight, direct exposure of the metamorphosis. In the actual chronology of the piece, the 12 sections do, do, do not unfold in the structural sequence of the transition from light to opaque, but rather in a mixed, unpredictable way. The composer has said that this decision has been made in an early stage of the composition process. 
Some part of the musical processes follows the structural a hidden sequence of the metamorphosis, whilst another part of the musical processes follows the, the real chronological sequence of the sections. In the fourth slide it's possible to see the order in, in which uh, the at 12 stages of, of metamorphosis appears in the piece. So uh, we can see that the piece begins with the stages uh, number 2, 4, 9, 7, 8, 11, uh, uh, 5, and, and, and then th there follows the ju juxtaposition or, or the contrast of the stages number 12 and 1. And the piece proceeds and, and concludes with stages number 10, 6 and, and, uh, and 3. In this uh, slide it's also possible to see and, and compare the two, two, two vectors of, of development, uh, namely uh, this, this structural order of sections that uh, follows the process of, of metamorphosis as, as well as the chronological order of, of, of sections. The material in the chiaroscuro uh, is divided into uh, four dis dis distinct layers. Uh, foreground, uh, background, middle ground and a layer which the composer has uh, called uh, the spectral or acoustical uh, layer. Uh, foreground is composed from chords played in a motivic way and, uh, and here the sense of presence is achieved by volume and, and rhythmic significance. Uh, Background is is more uh, floating like like water and 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 it's composed from from a melodic and uh, and linear material. Uh, middle, gr middle ground is a kind of shadow uh, and com 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 composed of uh, three types of material: a broken chords, moto legato chords, at attacks with pianissimo and sforzando combined. And then there is the uh, sp spectral layer, which is co composed with reference to spectral Id ideas. And uh, here all, all the material emanates fr from a single uh, source, uh, that, that is a single chord. Uh, some of the key, key I I ideas uh, found in this piece are also such notional pairs as quantity, quality, formalization, into intuition, objectivity, subjectivity, abstract and concrete. We can also uh, find the contrast between uh, tension and, and release, which, which uh, here uh, 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 manifests most 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 clearly in the distinction between uh, foreground and background and we can also find some other ideas borrowed from tonal music that is recycling and and recognition and in in this piece there are also complex uh, tempo uh, tempo rules, as I will show in the next next slides. Uh, during my con con conversation with the, the composer in May 2005 in in Göteborg, uh, he has said that the first step of the compositional process has been the 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 creation of the temporal structure. Thus, the initial decisions have been made regarding the pr proportions among the sections, tempi and the metrical organization. 
In Chiaroscuro we can find the following tempi with a certain proportions among them. So the tempi are uh, 36, 44, 54, 66, 80, uh, 96, 116. And the proportions between those tempi are uh, 9 against 11 against 13,5 uh, against 16,5 against 20 against 24 against 29. At the foundation of the temporal construction of, of the piece we can find the principle of, of, of Mat Matryoshka dolls, uh, namely if proceeding from a smaller to a larger each subsequent section encompasses the tempi and the metrical structure of, 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 the, of the previous section. As can be seen in, in the seventh slide, within the borders of absolute time of each section as expressed in seconds, uh, the composer has comprised one or two tempo uh, profiles, which have been sketched freely. Uh, and the subsequent metrical sum rounded up to 16th notes has been divided into bars. Uh, the decisions regarding choices of bar of bar length have been done intuitively. Uh, the result can be seen in the eighth slide. For, for the pitch dimension of, of the piece, composer has selected a reservoir of, of 120 chords that can be seen in ninth slide. These, these chords divide into th 36 categories, each category being characterized by a certain basic in the intervallic structure. As can be seen in this slide, the categories have uh, 3 to, to 10 pitches, as, as well as 1 to 8 variants. For instance, the intervallic structure of, of the first category is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, and the numbers denoting the semitones. The number of pitches is uh, 10, the number of, of variants is 8. Uh, the basic intervallic uh, structure here means the most compressed version of, of the relevant chord used in this piece. Subsequently, the, the variants are progressively more and more expanded versions of, of, of the chords, as can be seen in the Tenth slide, which compiles all the, the all the chords visually representing their ambitus. Uh, in the next couple of, of slides, I present the excerpt from from the score of Karaskuro. So uh, here we can see the beginning of of the piece, and 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 we can see the uh, division of, of the texture and, and, and material into those, those, uh, those uh, uh, four layers. So in the beginning, in, in, in green color, we can see the middle ground layer. In, in red color, uh, that's, that's the four, four foreground layer. In the, the next page, in uh, a blue color, that's that's the uh, background layer, and uh, with yellow there are are marked the accents, the accented uh, pitches that belong to the spe spectral layer of the piece. 
several years after the completion of, of the piece, uh, co co composer uh, came up with a, a quite a drastic decision regarding the per performability of, of the work. In 1995 the composer writes in annotation to the CD recording of, of Chiara Scuro by, by, by Swedish pianist uh, Lowe Der Derwinger. After some hesitation I chose to allow the pianist a free reign to regard the score as a rough as a rough draft uh, making his own personal interpretation of it de de deleting passages change changing tempos making recapitulations and even change changing the the chronological order if necessary the End of quote. Uh, now I I would like to play you uh, this this uh, this recording of of Chiara Scuro as played by by Luve Der Derwinger. R r regarding the, the degree of p pianist's freedom when treating the score, uh, the composer uh, says that. Uh, this version is in some ways quite quite moderate. Uh, the chronological order of the original is never altered, and the articulation and and phrasing is faithfully rendered. On the other hand, extensive deletions were were made. Uh, links which may otherwise be difficult to catch are exposed and the interaction between uh, long uh, lines and, and rugged vertical uh, blocks uh, has been given a uh, new meaning as the, the, the horizons of the piece close on each other. For the foreground layer, composer has intuitively devised uh, 13 gestures or, or, or motifs in, in, in terms of, of rhythm, dynamics and pedal instructions, as can be seen in 15th slide. As, as for harmony, in, the, in this layer composer has decided to expose this sequence of 120 chords in the order from 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 largest to smallest ambitus as can be seen in 16th slide however this is not uh, done in a straightforwardly linear way but rather in a slightly ca ca chaotic unpredictable manner it can also be seen how this process uh, splits into uh, 12 sections of the piece. Uh, gradually each subsequent section uh, shares more and more material with the preceding one. Thus the chords get, get, get recycled. In the, in the 17th slide it can be seen that uh, the proceeding from the shortest uh, section t towards the l l largest one, uh, the a a a quantity of uh, chords in the, the foreground layer gets gets bigger and, and bigger from a 21 uh, chord to uh, f uh, f uh, 50 uh, uh, four chords. At uh, the same time, the the uh, uh, number of chordal types that is a quality of chords uh, gets uh, smaller and 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 smaller from uh, 21 chord in uh, 12 section to 10 chords in the first section once the decision has, has been made regarding the 
order of chords in this layer, the uh, composer has 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 literally sat at the piano and decided the placement of each chord within the piano register, as can be seen in the 18th and 19th slide. Uh, it is important also to, to mention that when the groups of, of, of chords re repeat, uh, these co chords are in the same in in intervallic relationships. For the background layer, composer has ordered the 120 chords according to to, to, to the transition from high to low density. The density here is a, is a criteria devised by the composer himself. It means the ambitus of a chord uh, divided by the number of tones in the same chord. Uh, this process ha has been organized uh, following this, this structural uh, a non chronological order of sections. For this layer, the longest section is in the high register with high density, whilst shortest section is in the low register with low density. In this layer, each of the 36 chord categories has its own melodic per permutation which denotes the way in, in which the, 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 the respective chords are, are melodically represented, as can be seen in 23rd slide. In the slides 24-25, one, one can see how the per permutations have been applied to the chords. Uh, gesturally, in this layer, composer utilizes three types. A grace notes, a two-part counterpoint with, with, with polyrhythm 5 against the 3, and 30-second notes with accents. In, in order to organize the, the 5 against the 3 counterpoint structure, Composer has devised a, a table of all the possible 5 to 3 relations, as can be seen in, in the 26th slide. In 27th slide, one can see the actual order of the 5, 5 to, to, to 3 combinations as they appear in the piece. As can be seen in 28th slide, uh, both the, the, the number of, of grace notes belonging to, to the background layer and the, the notes of uh, 5 against the 3 counterpoint uh, decrease uh, throughout the sections, uh, following the pattern 88, 80, 72, 64, 56, 48, 40, 32, 24, 16, 8, uh, and, and zero notes per section. In the meantime, the number of, of 30 second notes increase following the pattern uh, 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 88, uh, notes per section. In 29th slide it is possible to see how in each section the total number of notes from each gestural category is divided in, into groups. In 30th slide it is possible to see a quantification of the three gestural types according to a structural uh, non-chronological order of sections. For the middle ground layer, composer has intuitively chosen uh, 33 chords from the pro progression of chords related 
to, to the background layer. So, so these uh, two layers uh, follow the same linear pr process from high to, to, to low density. Uh, the chords in the middle ground layer have, have no less than five tones. These, these chords uh, follow a process from very high to, to very low register as can be seen in a 30-second slide. Uh, there are three gestural categories used in, in this layer, which Composer has named as counterpoint, a flow and, and points. A first category con consists of a 21 chord with a polyrhythmical the texture of, of right hand and left hand played asynchronously. Second category is, is based on, 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 on a regular succession of both hands to, together uh, played, played moto legato. The third cut category is based on the principle of a right hand playing uh, pianissimo with a left hand playing sforzato at, at the same time. Uh, via a trial error method, Composer has quantified uh, these, these chords, as can, 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 can be seen in, in a slide uh, 35. As can be seen in slide uh, 37. The basis of spectral layer is a single chord that, that lays outside the reservoir of 120 chords uh, used in this piece. It is in low register consisting of six tones. Subsequently, Composer has compiled the overtone series up to 11th partial of all the six tones into an aggregate of pitches. From, 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 from this aggre aggre aggregate, 11 groups are made with notes progressively reducing from 11 to 1. As can be seen in the 38th slide, the next step has been to expand those groups by taking each tone five times, thus reaching the, the, the number of tones 55, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 per, per group. Uh, these notes are played as uh, sforzando accents. Besides the chord that lays at the basis of spectral uh, layer is itself played uh, several times uh, throughout the piece. As can be seen in slide uh, 40, it, it is presented in two versions. Uh, 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 version A. Uh, the chord played uh, softly in piano pianissimo. Uh, this version appears uh, 17 times uh, during the piece and is distributed irregularly among the sections. A version B. The chord played uh, loudly in, in fortissimo and followed by another chord pianissimo as a kind of e echo. Uh, this other chord consists of a selection of partials and it is uh, transposed according to a circle of uh, a, a fifth each time it appears. Uh, there is single appearance of a version B in each section. The pr process of uh, transpositions according to circle of uh, a fifth uh, follows the chronological uh, non-structural sequence of sections. Uh, to con conclude, I would like to 
emphasize that uh, this is a piece in which great uh, structural depth and architectural complexity uh, goes uh, hand in hand with playfulness of the sounding uh, surface and a kind of jazzy quality. Uh, there is a unique relationship here between clarity and ambiguity. Uh, it is indeed very hard to picture in, in one's mind all the parametric lines uh, simultaneously. The process of analysis in, in this case implies, uh, implies a delving endlessly into the structure of the piece.